Welcome to Channel I Make, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about migrating to Australia? Why don't you consider subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell on the side, so once we have all the updates and news, you'll be the first one getting all the insight. Now today's video, uh, I would like to uh, follow up with the uh, uh, the Dr. Risby's uh, 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 comment or his his actual article from his media, Independent Australia, uh, after he has attended the uh, National uh, Press Club. Uh, he also mentioned in about the uh, regional migrations, uh, which which has been a hot topic for years. However, since the um, Liberal government uh, last uh, was on the uh, uh, governing the, the the nation. They have somehow cut a lot of uh, regional migrations number out, and then uh, putting the so-called the RSMS uh, in in the back pockets and creating a lot of problems. Uh, however, uh, since the Labour came back, they have uh, started with a lot of uh, visa expansions. However, as due to uh, the issue of housing crisis, uh, they have now stopped uh, since. Uh, now, la last week we have seen they have putting on a discussion paper looking into strengthening regional migration again. Now we can have a look at the uh, the article that has been uh, you know written by uh, Dr. Uh, Rizvi and then see how the history of regional migration has actually evolved over the past decades. All right, let's um, jump in there. Um, uh, you may wanted to Google this uh, this uh, title: Labor commits to strengthening regional migration, and this is coming from Independent Australia. That's the media and the web page that provided by Dr. Abu Rizvi. As you can see, uh, the uh, Dr. Rizvi's uh, you know uh, it's, it's written by Dr. Rizvi here. It's from 25th of June, and I think this is pretty good because uh, he actually outlined the whole history of the regional sponsor migration scheme and also the uh, state nominations so as you can see that the um and also by by the end of this video i'll provide some of my comments as well in regards to regional migration and, and should you choose regional australia for skilled migration in the future uh so it's it has started since 1995 that was just a long time ago where uh, as you know australia is a large continent it's a sixth largest continent in the world and it's only and back in 1995 i suspect the uh, population will be under 20 million uh and they need more people to be in regional area uh despite that the um, over all these decades uh, there hasn't really been a big push in development in those regional area now I want to give you a little uh, feel on myself for example uh, talking about regional for example in uh, there's only uh, well, I, I'm not going to talk about uh, Gold Coast because Gold Coast has been it, it's been defined as regional because the population is not as large as those cities compared to Brisbane uh, Sydney and Melbourne, but uh, it's an advanced uh, and tourism city. I want to talk about Cairns, for example. Now, Cairns is right up north of uh, Australia, a northern part of the Queensland. Uh, it's obviously it's regional. Now, over the past decades, or three decades, or two decades, uh, how much has it been really being developed? Um, really, really not much from uh, compared to a lot of regional cities around the world if you wanted to uh, do those comparisons I, I, be I, I believe the issue of Australia is really the uh, public infrastructure and transportations if the public infrastructure and transportations for example uh, high-speed rails uh, not, not connecting to Cairns but connecting to the three major cities on the eastern coast then along those cities obviously the, the those regions will then be developed however there hasn't really been done anything like that they are still having those um well, they have improved train um, but those train are still not speedy enough uh to actually 
catch up with the actual development in the region. So those kind of things are still not there and still dependent on the Qantas flights and all uh, Virgin flights to go around Australia, which is not really the way it, it doesn't improve the regional development but because over the past three decades you, you haven't seen much of improvement there so i think that's the major stuff but when are they going to use the uh uh the the visa migration um strategy to actually boost this uh you can see the graph here uh it has picked up onto 2000 and we see the uh, la the uh blue bar here pick up um, until 2012 and then start coming down because uh, as you you may read uh, back then there was um, Scott Morrison and the current uh, leader of opposition Peter Dunn uh, who has uh, somehow I think if we read here that he has uh, uh, secretly cut the migration number here cutting migration program from 190,000 down to 160,000 uh, actually true because Dutton had already un unilaterally cut the program while he was uh, the Minister of Home Affairs uh, and that's something that they told the public was 190 and they use what they use the um, traffic congestions back then as a, uh, a topic to win their elections now we see peter dutton come up again and he want to cut even further on labor's proposals on migration program which i do not think it will actually help the regional australia uh, and also again there are people willing to go but are they enough uh, work jobs uh, and, and development going on for those regions in order for these skilled migrants to go over there i think it really needs to balance things up and this article has been talking about how uh, the program has been developed into a uh, uh, places with where we see all these uh, outcome and plan number but we don't really see how the development has actually gone uh, for the past years and decades uh, and also another example I wanted to sh uh, share with you is also uh, city of Hobart uh, city of Adelaide uh, those are all uh, considered as regional uh, areas uh, and if you if you really compare the development for the past two decades comparing Melbourne and Adelaide comparing Sydney and Hobart uh, the ratio of development the money investment going into those cities the comparison is actually very low uh, and so I, I believe that the federal government should really uh, put more um, money into those regional cities in order to boost things up so again one thing is the public infrastructures and the other thing is of obviously the transportation because if the transportation can be convenient enough for people to actually travel there within a shorter time rather than going to a flight every everywhere uh, i think that will really boost the region because if you travel in the flight uh, the problem with flight there's only one destination there's no uh, no stops between destination A to destination B but the good thing about the train or you know high-speed rails uh, it does stop in you know in intervals of, of stops and that will actually boost the economy of those region and those interval for example intervals uh, between the city of Brisbane and Sydney will be a lot of stop in between and imagine those those regions will you know kind of getting all these incentive improvement into uh, those part of the economies uh, however uh, the approach has been talked about for many many years you may want to search high speed rail australia you may see a lot of news article talking for the past two, you know two decades but nothing really has been going on uh, i i believe also it's also the uh, the issue between states and states where there's a responsibility and there's also resources program uh, required to go through i know it's enormous cost uh, to 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 the region to the nation but I think it's worthwhile. Otherwise, we will we'll continue still seeing larger city developed. However, those regional area uh, continue to be kept undeveloped. Not undeveloped, but the ratio of development is unmatched to the urban cities' developments. 
if you know what I mean. Anyways, if you have more questions, inquiry, more than welcome to leave comment right down below. And I'll see you next video. Goodbye.